It took a little time last year since he was injured when the Yankees acquired him, but once he debuted with the club, Bader quickly became a fan favorite. And as we continue on Yankees Hot Stove, here's an interview he recently did with our Meredith Morakovitz. Harrison, there's about a month until pitchers and catchers report. Spring training right around the corner. Did this offseason fly for you? Uh, you know, it really didn't. Um, I think that's because I get to stay home uh, and, uh, you know, be surrounded by my friends and family. Um, you know, working out at the stadium, pretty local for me. So I felt like I never really left. So I've kind of been here for a while. But like you said, I mean, spring training is right on the corner for pitchers and catchers a month away. So just an exciting time. And, uh, yeah. It's been a lot of fun. You mentioned being home. You grew up in New York. What was it like walking around the streets this offseason, coming off some time with the Yankees? <laughs> it <was> different? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, a little, little different. Um, you know, obviously, I've always said that New York takes care of New York. So, um, you know, getting a chance to play for, for a New York franchise is incredible. Uh, the, you know, the fan base is, is uh, in addition to being, you know, um, super supportive they they know their athletes so uh you know definitely a little bit more love walking around um new york but you know it's all in good fun uh I, you know i notice you know yankee hats so much more which is funny because you know obviously being here all the time but you just now that you're part of you know the yankees organization you just kind of notice those things a lot more so uh it's been it's been a it's been a really fun off season yeah do you enjoy that aspect really soaking it all in seeing those yankees hats people coming up to you and and talking to you about being on the team yeah, I do. Um, you know, you get you get to play with such a short window. Uh, you get to be surrounded by, you know, some incredible talent for a really short window. And, and to be a part of, you know, winning teams, to be surrounded by winning players, you know, you got to soak it up because at some point it's going to come to an end. So, um, you know, for example, this offseason, obviously announcing Judge as the captain, I mean, that just created a different um, energy in the streets in New York, whether you're at a restaurant, whether you're just walking, you know, anywhere. Um, you know, Yankees fans know we have our captain, um, you know, in pinstripes, which we haven't had, obviously, in some years. So, um, you know, it, it's all part of it. And, and to just kind of be a part of that is uh, is great. And I love talking about Judge being captain. I love talking about the Yankees. I love talking about expectations for the upcoming year. So it's all it's all in good fun. I love it. It's, it's, you know, it's what we do. There was a period of time where Yankees fans were concerned, Harrison. They did not know if 99 was going to to be in pinstripes. Were you on the edge of your seat as well as that was all going down to see exactly where he would land? Or were you pretty confident that he would be back? I definitely was checking Twitter, talking to some teammates for sure. But, you know, listen, he uh, he had such an incredible showing. You know, his journey, um, as happy as I am for it obviously to, to, end in, uh, to end in pinstripes and to kind of, you know, it's a new chapter, I guess, if you will, with his career. But, you know, his journey is his journey. And regardless of, of, you know, what team he ended up with, you, know, you just have to respect it. Um, but ultimately getting to a point where, you know, you hear that it is kind of finalizing the tribes, I definitely took a, a big breath, a sigh of relief, if you will. Um, apart from being just such, such an incredible talent, you know, what he means to this clubhouse um, and the players who have gotten a chance to play with him for much longer than I have. Um, you know, I, I saw it very quickly, so I'm very happy about it. I know not only the players, but the, the coaches and the staff as well. Um, they're all very happy to have a guy like that um, have such an impact on people on and off the field. You know, you know he's special. So um, I was respecting his space and, and, you know, some of the discussions off the field with other teams potentially, but for him to be back in New York, it just feels right. So I was uh, I was very, very excited and relieved to, to see that it was going to be under the trip. Overall, what do you think of the moves that have been made? He wasn't the only one signing him and securing him to a nine-year deal. Also got pitching in Rodon. Tommy Canely is back. There are other moves that this front office has made. How do you feel about this team heading into spring training? Yeah, I mean, I feel incredibly confident. Um, you know, to, to have a front office that's willing to make moves, to go out and get talent, to go out and get winning players. I mean, that's what you want as, as a guy that's still, you know, part of that team. Um, you know, I know it's not that experience everywhere else. I know players are maybe frustrated with some of the moves that other front offices might may or may not make. And, uh, you know, to be in a position where I'm fortunate enough to say, you know, I think the front office did an incredible job um, in getting winning players. That's all you can ask for. Um, so um, they're definitely putting together a great roster. Um, and most importantly, having those guys fit in to, uh, you know, the overall culture behind the scenes is, is really what the challenge is because the talent's there. So I'm just looking forward to getting down to Tampa, starting to, you know, breed that culture and be a part of that culture and continue it in the right and positive direction and having guys with winning talent. Um, I mean, again, that's all you could ask for. So 
I'm very excited. I'm very confident about where we're going. And I'm just looking forward to taking it day by day. You got to slow it all down. You talk about the mental aspect of it. How much was your mental fortitude tested last year as you tried to come back from that injury? You were traded at the deadline. I know how badly you wanted to get on the field for the Yankees. Was that a difficult process, making sure that you were healed enough to be productive on the field? Yeah, I mean, it, it, you said it perfectly right there. Right? It was a test. And, you know, part of a test comes with, uh, you know, preparing for the test. And uh, when it presents itself is, uh, you know, answering the questions appropriately um, and kind of acing it. And my trainers and their level of preparation, the staff here, you know, all the way up to, to Brian Cashman, who, you know, from day one made me feel very comfortable and confident in taking my time. You know, these are all the, the study materials, if you will, for that test. Because when it came, which was day in and day out, in that month and a half or so that I was kind of on the shelf, um, when it came down to it, I think I aced it. Um, and a lot of it was because of this staff. A lot of it was because of the, me the medical staff behind the scenes were helping me every day. And without them, you know, I don't think I would have done as well in, uh, in getting through that test. So kind of got to a point where I, you know, could play, get my feet wet towards the regular season, just get my timing back. And then obviously in the playoffs, just being super comfortable and, and in a position where I was just healthy and going out there and just playing baseball. Um, you know, that's kind of the, the final test, if you will. So. It was definitely tested, but, you know, with the materials that I had, with uh, a lot of my guys, again, behind the scenes, um, you know, they helped me tremendously. So uh, it was a group effort, no doubt. How would you describe your postseason? Because you certainly showed some Yankees fans what you could do when you are healthy. <laughs> How would I describe it? Um, you know, I, I just strive every day to be a winning player. Uh, you want to be a winning player on the field. You want to be a winning player off the field. Um, you know, I just, I always want to play winning baseball. And I think that regardless of the results, the level of preparation was to prepare to win. So, um, you know, as, as nice as the results were, there's only, it's not always going to be that way, but the mentality, the level of focus, um, and the commitment to just being a winning player, to, to be a good teammate, you know, that's, that's the consistency that I'm always searching for. And I know that if I do that and I study the game, you know, I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help my team win. So, um, it was a very small sample size, but you know, I'm just, again, looking forward to the opportunity to go out there and do it for, uh, you know, 160-plus games. Okay. Now I see you're at Yankee Stadium right now, clearly getting a little work in today. Anything change about your off-season routine this year? Um, you know, honestly, I, so I'm using the, the, the Yankees facilities, obviously, and, and the access to this, you know, the slow-motion cameras and the different machines and just some of, like, the little tools that kind of, I think, in my opinion, put me a couple weeks, a few weeks ahead. Um, of where I normally am, um, especially rolling into spring training. I've definitely been taking advantage of that. Uh, you know, the Yankees have an incredible facility here, as I'm sure many many people could imagine, but um, just the little separators, you know? Some things where I didn't maybe have access to a slow motion camera in the past, I can watch swing to swing right now and just kind of cue it up. And I, you know, I understand my movements pretty well. So um, just locking in my swing, you know, that's the biggest thing. I'm not trying to be anybody else. I'm just trying to make my swing as good as it is in preparation for what I think the league is going to throw, throw at me in the upcoming season. So, um, you know, simple as cameras, different machines uh, that can basically put a ball on a, on a dime in any part of the zone and just continuing to rep that, you know, repetition is king with a lot of things, but specifically in baseball in the off season where it's easy to kind of get off track. So um, being at the stadium has been incredibly beneficial for me this year. And, um, and yeah, we've been getting after it. Well, I know fans are looking forward to spring training. Before I let you go, as we know, we mentioned earlier, you're a New York guy, so I have to ask you, Giants or Jets? Uh, I'm a Giants fan. <laughs> Islanders, Devils, or Rangers? I have to admit, I do love all three. I have respect for all three. Really? But I, am, I, I, have, I did grow up a Rangers fan. Okay, last one. Knicks or Nets? I'm a Knicks fan. Knicks oh, all day. you're hurting everyone at the Yes Network. We have the Nets on our air. Come on, Harrison. I'm sorry. This has, there's been a lot of love in Madison Square Garden this offseason, as there has been in previous years. But Knicks, Knicks are my team. I'm, I'm most excited about the Nets. We've seen you there a few times so far this offseason. You can maybe get a couple more games in before heading down to Tampa. Thanks so much for the time. Yeah, absolutely. Always nice to talk to you. Thank you as well.